So I wanted to do a quick little update on the 1947 TD-14 International Dozer. So I got this thing as a project because I needed some, some heavier equipment out here on the farm homestead deal. I need to move some trees, move some dirt, and whatever because this hole, you can't really tell it's a hole now, but you can see down in here there's a snow plow sitting out there. And there's a giant pile of dirt over there. That's actually a pretty sizable hole. I did all that with a mini excavator. And, well, I mean, you know what you're doing. You can do anything with it. But put it this way, for the rental on it, it just wasn't worth the time invested. And I just needed something else. Either way, moving back to this. I bought this dozer, and it was running. And it still runs. But I started having issues with the, uh, the gas to diesel changeover. And it just got to be like a real big pain in the butt, even after dealing with, you know, some of the older guys that know how to work on these things and the little ins and outs and, you know, the tricks to them and whatnot. But I got this and I've been working on it here and there, wherever I had the chance. And now that I'm actually off the road and not driving anymore, it's a little easier. But either way, I got to talking to them the older guys and, and asking questions if there was a possibility that I could just skip the uh, skip the gas to diesel changeover altogether because apparently these things had a hard time with heads and blowing heads just because they would overheat and as it as it would be um, I, I did get a hold of a few people that said, yeah, it's completely possible to fire these things off on, on diesel alone because the uh, the gasoline side of the engine was strictly used for a preheat to warm it up and get it to the point where it would be easier. And I'll show you that right here if you're not familiar, but on this side of the engine, it has a carburetor and your intake, and it's got a magneto down there. And you can see it's got a spark plug right there. But this is a diesel engine as well. And we'll go over to the other side. And on this side, we've got our diesel injection pump, our diesel injectors, your fuel filter right there. Well, what was happening is it was, uh, it just wasn't wanting to start on diesel was my main issue it run on gas no problem well then all of a sudden it didn't want to run on gas and i just got tired of dealing with it so i've got it rigged up right now to where it will fire on diesel and i did get that figured out so let's go back over here to the uh the gasoline side and what i did is i went and got me a diesel preheat for a Perkins engine. Let me brush this off with my glove really quick. And I just I just rigged this up really quick. The welds are not pretty by any means, but I just slapped it on there to see if it would work. And as it would be, it definitely does work. This line was not like that. It's falling down. That's a diesel line that I have back here to a tank that I've just got setting down. It's actually the original gas tank for this. I had it setting up higher back here so that way the diesel could go in. But I got that preheat in there, it's a 12 volt. I got it welded in there and fastened in good. You fire that up on 12 volt battery. And it's a, what do they call it? A diesel flame, a diesel flame preheat, something to that effect. This is for a Perkins engine. And I just have the one in there. And I'm telling you what, the first time I plugged that thing in, and fed it a little bit of diesel. This thing popped off so hard. I had my head right there next to the intake and it backfired on me because I had shot some ether in it. But I'm telling you right now, it fired up and it works. Now the only issue that I'm working on is I gotta get over here to my, my uh, diesel fuel lines back in here underneath the battery box and everything and blow them out because now I'm not getting any diesel fuel to it. But I was pretty excited about that and just wanted to share the update uh, on that right there. Using the diesel preheat flame, I forget what they call it. It was some kind of flame plug or something like that. But it's for a Perkins engine. 
So if anyone's having any kind of issues with a machine similar to this or, you know, this machine itself, maybe this could help somebody. I did do it. I will post another video when I get it fired up here. But like I said, I got to go through and I got to clean out the fuel lines. And I'm actually going to go ahead and add an updated uh, Caterpillar fuel filter and uh, remote remote fuel filter block for it and everything because this old one is just i don't know it's kind of a pain in the butt and i'd rather just go with something a little bit newer a little bit more accessible but either way that's the update on that i will make another video when i actually fire it up and get it moving around here because it'll run a lot better and drive a lot better when it's on diesel rather than gas on gas it has almost no power at all but yep thanks for watching maybe this can help somebody if not maybe it just helped you kill five six minutes worth of time that you weren't doing anything have a great day and stay warm, everybody.